Greetings fellow ukuleleans, Jeff Weinberger coming at you here with a new tutorial. Today I'd like to wrap up our series on how to practice the ukulele. It's been a long journey and uh, we've had a lot of chapters to this. Today's the final chapter and it's about repertoire. It's about having that one good song that you know, that you know so good that you could play it at the drop of a hat if somebody asked you to. Um, we sometimes find ourselves in situations where perhaps, uh, oh, you go to a party and you're in a room full of people and somebody says, oh, I heard you uh, take ukulele lessons. Jeez, can you play us a song? We happen to have a ukulele here. Here you go. And uh, you're on the spot. You um, start sweating. You say, oh, geez, what songs do I know? Let me think. Um, hmm. And it's hard uh, if you don't have something ready. So this lesson is about having at least one good, simple thing ready. Um, and that could be anything from a simple three chord song that you get everyone to sing along with or maybe something intricate, a concert piece that you play at an opera house or uh, some kind of, you know, larger event. So it really doesn't matter what level you're on, whether you're at that three chord, easy strumming song kind of level and it's a casual thing or if you're at a formal gig you know and it's a concert in front of thousands of people on a huge stage with a big sound system and you know all of that um or anywhere in between so any situation you might find yourself in where you have to come up with a song it is nice to have that one good song for me i did that uh opening uh intro on here comes the sun by the beatles something i've known for several years now and i kind of have my own little arrangement of it based on other arrangements that i've heard and uh, I can always pull that out if somebody asks me to play. Um, I also have Yesterday by Paul McCartney. Um, Jake Shima Bokoro did an arrangement of Yesterday some years back, and I saw that on YouTube, and I sort of adapted that arrangement to my own. I added some parts and uh, have my own original material interspersed in that. And um, so I can always pull that out. Yesterday is kind of a staple for me. I played that in front of several audiences over, over the years. Um, it might be something more intricate than, than those, you know, it might be a classical piece that you're working on, some uh, Francisco Tarrega or something like that, or some Bach, um, what, whatever it is, though, uh, you have to have it together. So today we're going to talk more on the level of a simple song, not so much those intricate things. But those are nice, you know, if you have uh, Lag Lagrima by uh, Tarrega. <laughs> That's cool. I mean, if you're a player that can do that, go for it. People would like it. You know, it'd be a nice thing to play for people. It's a sweet little piece and it's beautiful. It brings out the beauty of the instrument. Um, but what about like a Creedence Clearwater song, Bad Moon Rising, for instance? We do that in mid coast ukes. That's a staple of our set. We often open with that. It's a pretty strong song and it's very easy to play. It's pretty easy to sing for singers. And, um, you all might know it, but we do it in G. So it's G, C, uh, D, and then C, and then you sit on G for a minute. I see a bad moon rising. I see trouble on the way. That tune. You could learn that. You could learn that right now. You could sit down and take five minutes and get that verse together because it's just G, D, C, G. And you do that four times and you're done with the verse. And then you got the chorus. Don't go around tonight. Well, it's bound to take you life. There's a bad moon on the ride. No problem. We've got this. You can do that. It uh, might take you a half an hour right now to sit down with a song sheet. Uh, you can download from midcoastukes.org, actually. Go to midcoastukes.org, and you will be able to access for absolutely free all the song sheets that we use in, in our group um, and learn that song. And in half an hour, you've got it up and running. And then you could go and do it on a gig tonight if you wanted to or play it for your cat or whatever, whatever you, you want to do for an audience. But it's nice to have that one song. Maybe for you it's Jambalaya. It's a Hank Williams tune. Goodbye, Joe. Me gotta go. Me oh my oh. Me gotta go. For you it's like something else. Maybe it's Riptide. That song Riptide. Or it's Blue Moon. Blue Moon. You saw me standing alone. How 
would go over pretty good at a party or something or a family gathering um, or just a you know get together so there's a million songs out there but try to pick one that's easy try to pick one that only has a handful of chords that you know you can handle a strum that you know you can handle and lyrics you know you can remember and a form you know like the verse and the chorus and all of that that you can remember and not have to look at a song sheet notice how I'm, I'm doing this all without a song sheet I have a music stand here but the book happens to be closed and so from memory it's good to be able to have these songs and uh, don't do the intricate stuff first go for the simple stuff first the three chord songs the four chord songs the Beatles songs the Hank Williams songs the Willie Nelson songs um, that sort of thing or uh, simple pop songs you know so it's uh, always good to have a song in your pocket that you can pull out at uh, a moment's notice and just be able to play for people and that is a lesser discussed thing in I think uh, ukulele tutorials and uh, even though we talk about all the intricacies of the instrument and technique and all these things the finer points what about songs songs are incredibly important so that's why I did this video today to cap off our long series on how to practice ukulele all right fellow ukuleleans hope you enjoyed that be sure to subscribe be sure to like click that notify bell and I will catch you later bye bye